Pakistan has started airstrikes against Iran. In this video, we are going to talk about what happened and do we face another escalation? Do we face another war? So the news were that Pakistani jets as well as drones of the type Wing Long 2, we have here Pakistani jets of the type J-10 and JF-17 have flown airstrikes against targets in the on the Iranian side of the border. The Pakistani foreign ministry said that they struck terrorist targets after they received credible intelligence information that an attack on Pakistanis was imminent. Basically, they are talking saying the same that Iran did in their stri strikes uh, with ballistic missiles on Pakistani targets two or two and a half days before. Iran said they had struck a terrorist organization. Pakistan said women and children were hurt, were, had have died. Now, Pakistanis said the same about Iran. Iranian National News Agency is saying that nine people have died, among them women and children. But at the same time, they emphasize they were not Iranian citizens. And there we can see Iran, Pakistan had the big dilemma what to do, how to react on that. The Pakistani people are massively unhappy if their sovereignty is being trampled upon. As you remember, the US basically for decades struck targets inside of Pakistan, killing Pakistani citizens They were who were accused of being terrorists. And this was not really something that uh, Pakistani nationalists would love. Obviously, a foreign country killing your countrymen, even if they are bad one, even if they were guilty and often enough, they were collateral damage. They might have been a, 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 um, a wedding or something. There were innocent people dying as well. So this enraged them. Pakistan on the Eastern Front has India with which it has fought numerous wars. The last thing they can do is allow Iran now to trample on their sovereignty as well. So they had to respond. And there they probably took the most measured response that they could do. They did it in force, several jets, serious attacks, but they struck something where the Iranians now have a chance to back down. They did not strike Iranian launch sites to prevent further attacks, which could have been another option, but they struck terrorist targets after or what they claim to be terrorist targets using the exact same language the Iranians use and basically doing a tit for tat. As the Iranian news agency is now saying that, hey, they weren't Iranian citizens, whether or not that is true is a different story. Allows This allows Iran to back down. And I don't see a reason why Iran should not back down. They might have, might be angry about that strike, but they knew it, they had it coming. And Pakistan took a way that allows Iran to and not be happy about it, but not start another conflict. And that's the least thing that Iran needs is now during the war in Gaza, during Israel's fighting with Hezbollah and the Houthis, being involved in a war with another power that was so far not involved, a power with a serious military of a sizable um, size of a big size and nuclear weapons that's the last thing the iranians need so i think all of this is likely going to die down now this is at least my expectations out of this as no side has anything to gain out of escalating further and pakistan has done the right thing of making showing the world hey you can't trample on us showing the domestic uh, audience hey we are strong we don't allow iran to infringe on our sovereignty without it being answered while keeping their response to a level that allows Iran to slowly walk out of the room. So in my expectation, we should not expect a next new war. Obviously, the um, decision makers in Tehran and in Islamabad might make different choices. They set their priorities different. That is obviously a possibility. But I think as of now, it seems highly unlikely that this is going to escalate into another war. But we will see how far I have been um, right in the next couple of days. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment how you see the situation and do you think Pakistan made a smart move here. And if you're new here, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. This channel is only possible because of the support of viewers like you. If you like to support the channel, you can do so by the means in the description. Thank you very much to everyone already supporting this channel. And that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching and I'll be back.